The Hamlin Pool Marine Nature Reserve is a protected marine nature reserve located in the UNESCO World Heritage listed Shark Bay in the Gascoyne region of Western Australia. The 127,000 hectare 310,000 acre nature reserve boasts the most diverse and abundant examples of living marine stromatolites in the world, monuments to life on Earth over 3,500 million years BP. <laughs> Location and access Hamlin Pool is the eastern major waters within Shark Bay, separated from the western area by the Perrin Peninsula, with a smaller water body just adjacent to its northern border with Foray Island, Lari Don Bight the juncture being defined by Petty Point. At the northern edge of the Hamlin Pool area is the Wurramal Sea Grass Bank. The Marine Reserve is situated adjacent to the Hamlin Station Reserve and the historic Hamlin Pool Telegraph Station about 30 km miles west of the Overlander Roadhouse on the North West Coastal Highway. Access is via Hamlin Pool Road and then through the Hamlin Pool Telegraph Station grounds. Access is free. Marine Reserve The Marine Reserve covers 1,270 square kilometres 490 square miles. It is one of only a few places in the world where living marine stromatolites can be found. Other locations for stromatolites include an underwater site 6 meters 20 feet deep in the Caribbean, Persian Gulf, and in the Great Salt Lake of Utah. Hamlin Pool contains the most diverse range of stromatolites and microbial diversity in the world. The stromatolites in Hamlin Pool were discovered by surveyors working for an oil exploration company in 1956 and were the first living examples of structures built by cyanobacteria. The cyanobacteria living in Hamlin Pool are direct descendants of the oldest form of photosynthetic life on Earth. The stromatolites are similar to 3,500 million year old stromatolite fossils found in many places around the world. Stromatolites are an example of the earliest record of life on Earth. They are found around the shores, mostly in the neighborhood of 26 degrees 23 s 114 degrees 09 e. Hamlin Pool is hypersaline it has approximately double the salinity of normal seawater, providing an ideal environment for the stromatolites to grow, and inhibiting other marine life which would normally feed on the bacteria. The cyanobacteria live in communities on the seabed at densities of 3 billion individuals per square meter. They are the simplest life forms to use photosynthesis to provide food and oxygen. They provided the early Earth with most of its oxygen atmosphere billions of years before plants appeared. Very fine particles of solids i.e. sand, crushed shell etc. are trapped by the sticky bacteria, to become cemented with calcium carbonate produced by the bacteria, thereby building up the stromatolite structures. Some structures are pillars up to 1.5 meters 5 feet high and have taken thousands of years to grow. In the Marble Bar area of Western Australia there are fossil stromatolites approximately 50 metres 160 feet high and 30 metres 98 feet diameter. These are estimated to be over 3 billion years old. Typical growth is about 0.5 millimetres 0.020 in per year. 
There are three basic types of stromatolite, the subtidal always underwater columns and the intertidal exposed to air and sun during low tides anvil or mushroom shapes depicted in most pictures. Algal mats form in the intertidal region and appear as areas of flat black mud flats but are actually living stromatolite. At Hamlin Pool there is an interpretive boardwalk for tourists to venture out and examine the stromatolite structures. This is the only access area for the general public because of the fragile nature of the environment in the Hamlin Pool. The Hutchinson Island and the Pelican Island are located within the nature reserve. Topic: <laughs> Telegraph Station. At the historic Hamlin Pool Telegraph Station built in 1884 and historic Old Post Office first built in 1886 now the local community post office, public phone box. The museum showing information on the growth of stromatolites and includes what is the only stromatolites living in captivity in an aquarium in the world. The museum also covers the building and operation of the historic telegraph station back to the 1880s.